Hey guys, how are y'all doing? My name is Nate, and today I'm here with a Demo Man Trimping tutorial. Now, trimping is actually a different form of jumping that I just learned from someone a little while ago. Now, essentially what trimping is, is when you use your charge attack to surf up a ramp or a set of stairs, and to launch yourself across the map with the speed that you get. Now, I've been practicing trimping recently, and I find it absolutely hilarious just how far you can fly across the map. I mean, with just one charge, you can fly even farther than you would with just stickies. And what I absolutely love about trimping, besides the obvious fact that you can, you know, go flying across the map, is that it's actually useful in a lot of situations, because when you're a Demonite, it's really important to have a lot of mobility and get around people. So being able to get behind people and go at incredibly high speeds is actually really useful for real games. And overall, I just think this is absolutely fun to do. Like, this is something I'm really excited to teach you about, because it's so much fun. And there's a few things we have to do to get trimping to work. The first thing you'll need is to get a tide turner for the demo man. Although the other shields can be used to do a little bit of trimping and surfing up ramps and stuff, the tide turner is really important if you want to get a lot of speed and go really far. Now to start off a trimp jump, you have to do something that's basically called a surf. And a surf is when you slide up an incline or a set of stairs or something. But instead of just sticking to that incline, you're basically just sliding up it. Now the way you can picture this is kind of in real life when you do an actual surf and you're just kind of sliding up and down the wave. You're not really sticking to it in your theme, but you're still able to move across it. Now there's actually a few ways to start off a trimp jump. The first one being that you can just charge directly at a steep incline, and you're able to fly off the edge. Now this is actually pretty easy to do, and there's one jumping to group keep which is made specifically for doing this. And all you really have to do is just face the incline, charge straight at it, and you can just fly off. And although this way is really easy to do, it's not actually going to work for most of the jumps you want to learn. So to start off a jump, you want to face perpendicular to the jump that you want to go off. Now here's exactly what you're going to do if you want to go slide up the ramp. I'm going to start off here by just jumping normally into the air. Now while I'm still in the air, I'm going to start charging, and before I hit the ground, I'm going to make a 180 turn right before I touch the ramp. Now basically what this does is it makes it so you don't stick to the ground, and you actually fly horizontally in the other direction. Now the other way you can do it, is you can just look straight the whole time and jump and charge. This actually works best when you want to go upstairs. It kinda just depends on how steep the incline is. Now the last way to do a trimp jump is on a very steep incline and basically the kind of incline that you can't normally walk on. And really all you have to do for this kind of incline is to walk up straight into it and kind of jump against the wall. And then you basically charge while you're up against it and you can kind of move yourself upward. It's actually really cool how it works, because the wall is too steep for you to walk on it, but it's steep enough that you can charge off of it and get really good height. Now once you're up in the air, you're going to have to do a little bit of charge strafing. And I'll basically explain how this works. Now for those of you who don't know, strafing is basically just moving throughout the air. There's actually two ways that you can strafe. The first one is normal strafing, and normal strafing can be done with any class because you don't need to charge. Basically all you do to go right is to press D on your keyboard and move your mouse slowly right, and to go left you press A and move your mouse slowly left. Now charge strafing is basically when you're moving throughout the air while you're charging as a demo knight. And it's a little bit different from normal strafing. All you really have to do to move throughout the air is to move your mouse left and right. Now when you're charging in the air, you're actually going to slide quite a bit more than you would just normally moving. As you can see, if I charge off this and I move my mouse 90 degrees, I'm still kind of sliding off towards my left because it's kind of, you know, sliding throughout the air. So in order to fix this, I need to turn myself more right than I think I would have to go. So I'm basically just moving my mouse right, but I'm still heading towards my left. So it's actually a lot different from just normally moving throughout the air. Once you do it enough times, it'll make so much more sense. The one thing I should mention is that while you're strafing throughout the air, you're going to gain a ton of speed by doing so. And this basically sets you up for the rest of the jump. I can kind of compare the more speed that you get to this example here. When I normally charge off of this rock, I can get up on top of the wall, which is pretty far I guess. But when you charge and you actually strafe over left and right, then you can actually go a ton farther than you normally would. And this is why it's super important to strafe a lot, because you get a ton of speed. And of course, getting a lot of speed is important, because you need to get behind people quicker. I just need to be able to jump off more ramps throughout the jump. Now overall, this really has become one of my new favorite ways of jumping. Because not only is it super awesome, but you can actually use it in a lot of games, because, you know, getting behind people and surprising them and coming at them at incredibly high speeds is super important. Plus, it's just so much fun to do. I can't stress how much fun it is to just charge into a ramp and just fly, go flying across the map. And like all other things in life, you need to practice to get it all right. You need to practice so you can understand how much more speed you need to do it. You need to understand what angle you need to be at. I can't explain exactly what angles you need to be at to get it to work, and it kind of just depends what the jump is. Now I just want to put enough stress on the fact that you need to get a lot of speed when you do this. 
This is probably the fastest way you'll ever get to jump with any class. Because all you're doing is just strafing throughout the air, and that alone builds all of the speed. Plus, like I said before, it's really important to get across the map quickly. Plus, the amount of speed you have can determine the angle you go off ramps and stuff. So really, overall, just practice getting the beginning of the jump down, practice strafing throughout the air, and practice getting a lot of speed. And in sure enough time, you will be very good at this. It's all about the practice. Anyways, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I actually had a ton of fun making this video, because there's just so many different jumps you can do in all these different maps. And it's kind of fun just exploring and going around and figuring out what you can do. And really, if you use this correctly, it can be very important when you play Demo Knight in actual games. Anyways, again, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time.